You should perform cannulation in accordance with your local trust policy guidelines. Steps prior to procedure. Alcohol gel your hands. Gain consent from the patient. Undertake initial vein assessment. Gather your equipment. Check that all equipment is in date and that the packaging is intact. To perform cannulation, you will need a cannulation pack containing a safety IV cannula, 2% chlorhexidine and 70% alcohol skin cleaning preparation, a sterile occlusive dressing, gauze, a sterile field, clinical waste bag, an underarm drape, a cannula assessment record and a tourniquet a needle-free device, a pre-filled syringe containing sodium chloride, a sharps container and your personal protective equipment. Alcohol gel your hands. You are now ready to carry out the cannulation procedure as demonstrated in this video. Apply the tourniquet for no longer than one minute, ensuring you can get two fingers between the patient and the tourniquet. Assess the vein. Remove the tourniquet. Carry out skin cleaning procedure for 30 seconds using a cross-hatched technique. Allow skin to air dry completely. Alcohol gel your hands. Apply a pair of well-fitting non-sterile gloves. Apply skin traction from below or to the side of the insertion site, never from above. Insert the cannula at an angle of 10 to 15 degrees for peripheral veins and 15 to 20 degrees for more deeply sighted veins. Insert the tip of the stylet into the vein. As soon as the first flashback is visible, stop. Lower your insertion angle. Advance a fraction further to ensure that the tip of the catheter is located in the vein. Hold the wing with your non-dominant hand and withdraw the stylet slightly using your dominant hand. Upon visualising the second flashback entering the catheter, hold the stylet still and advance the catheter into the vein. Remove the tourniquet. Stabilise the hub and occlude the vein. Remove the stylet in a slow, controlled manner, keeping it in line with the catheter and place the stylet directly into the sharp spin. Attach the pre-primed needle-free device. Apply two dressing strips over the wings, taking care not to touch or cover the insertion site. Flush the catheter using a push-pause technique. Detach the flush syringe from the needle-free device and clamp in accordance with manufacturer's guidelines. Apply transparent occlusive dressing and add the date label. Secure the needle-free device to the patient's skin to the side of the cannula dressing. Dispose of equipment into clinical waste bag. Remove gloves and personal protective equipment. Decontaminate hands and complete cannula assessment record.